All right, guys, smells delicious. Love the smell of pancakes. I'm sure you guys do too. Gozaimasu, Pat Tokuyama here at All Day Like a Shark, where I share my Japanese cooking videos once a week showing you how to make Japanese food. Today what we're going to be doing is making matcha pancake and that's going to be matcha green tea, powdered green tea, pancakes. So we're going to be using some aya matcha, cooking grade today, as well as some hakurikiko, which I have here, Japanese flour. If you don't have this, just make your own. It's cake flour essentially. Two tablespoons of matcha powder here and about one and a quarter cup of whole milk, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of baking powder, quarter cup of sugar, two eggs, a stick of butter for the pan, and three cups of hakurikiko. So that's all we need. If you've never made pancakes before, it doesn't really get any easier than this. Actually, all pancakes are pretty simple to put together. All you got to do is just mix the ingredients and then put it on the pan. You got to be patient though so you don't burn your pancakes. The first thing that we should do is mix all the dry ingredients. Put in three cups of flour. We'll put in the sugar as well. Put in the cornstarch. We'll put in the baking powder and then we'll put in the matcha powder. Sometimes I make it a little bit more potent and do three tablespoons of matcha but today I'm going to do it as I usually do it. Okay so what we're going to do now is mix all of the wet ingredients together. So I have two eggs here. I'm going to combine it with the milk get this whisk started. So we're just gonna whisk these together really quick and then we'll combine it all together. All right guys, so I think the powder is just about done mixing. So what we're gonna do is combine it with the liquid and then once it's just incorporated, we'll go ahead and put it on the pan. Before I do that, I'm gonna preheat both of my pans. I usually use two, so I can do twice the work. I guess you could do four. If you wanna use all four burners, you need four pans for that. Go low and slow with the heat. But let's go ahead and finish mixing this up first. Put this back on. All right, so it's got a beautiful matcha, pastel green color. That's how our Pancakes look essentially. Just gonna make sure that the uh, bottom sections are nice and incorporated. Sometimes if you have one of these stand mixers, you know that there's a little groove in the bottom that doesn't always mix in. Just getting all this batter off the whisk. And by the way, it already smells like matcha. If you've ever baked with matcha or drank it or eaten it, you know it has a pretty distinct taste. Okay guys, so I think these pans are pretty warm. I'm actually gonna switch them because my power burner is on the left side. I like to put my uh, big pan on the power burner. And we'll just put on some butter. Butter makes a big difference with pancakes, in my opinion. It's actually pretty hot already. So it's already starting to brown right away. So we'll just go ahead and put some of this pancake mix on here. All right, and then I'm gonna turn on the heat to low, medium low on both of these. And we'll check on these to make sure that the bottoms have started to brown just a little bit using a spatula. And then once they have gotten a nice little tan brown, then we can go ahead, flip it over and cook the other side. We will be eating some matcha pancakes in just a few minutes. Can't wait. All right, so let's go ahead and check and see how this is doing. All right, so you can see right there that there's a nice brown on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. A few tips for this recipe is I usually do a double or triple batch and freeze the rest. That way I have some matcha pancakes to enjoy in the future. I also like to use butter on the pan. That helps to make it a little bit more savory and rich in terms of flavor and umami. So highly recommend that you use butter. Go low and slow. The pans were a little bit on the hotter side so the butter started to brown right away as soon as I put it on, which can be a good or bad thing depending on if you like brown butter or not, but who doesn't like brown butter? I love brown butter. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And then like I showed you just now, if you see that the pancake is starting to brown on the bottom. That's when you know you can flip it over. This one looks like it's just about done. That's how it looks. Same with this one. Doesn't need to be completely brown. You just want to make sure that it's somewhat cooked and heated through all the way. So this is how it looks so far. So when you're ready to do the next batch, usually I just put on a little bit more uh, butter. If you have a non-stick pan, you might not need to do this, but like I said, I do it for the flavor. All right, not too bad guys, right? So here's the uh, finished product, all the pancakes that we just made. What I have here, I whipped some whipping cream with a little bit of sugar. So one half a cup of whipping cream, two tablespoons of sugar, and about a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. And I have some kuromitsu, kuromitsu, which is the Okinawan black sugar syrup. I have some freeze-dried strawberry bits that I have uh, pulverized in my little food processor. So that's essentially how we're gonna be putting this together today. I'll just put a dollop of whipped cream on the side here because I love whipped cream. And then we can put some of the freeze-dried strawberries on top and then we'll put on some of the black sugar. We'll just pour some of this on. 
It's nice and thick. Very sweet and complex. All right, guys, here it is. My matcha pancakes with a little bit of kuromitsu syrup and freeze-dried strawberries and vanilla bean whipped cream. Great way to treat yourself for breakfast or brunch. Or I guess you could eat this for dinner or dessert as well. You can also serve it with ice cream. Hope you guys give it a try. Next time, I wonder what we'll be making with matcha next. I wonder if it might have anything to do with cake. Matcha cake. I wonder if we're going to be making that. Who knows? All right, so what should I eat first? Pancake, the whipping cream, or the black syrup, kuromitsu? What should I do? Doushio. Itadakimasu. Mmm, nice and fluffy. Whew, that was good. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the alarm bell for notifications for when I post new videos. And other than that, I think I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Jana, bye bye.